Hi, I'm Dr. Rod Shaw of Math Plus Academy, and our math treat is called The Lost Ticket. Imagine you have a hundred people in a line getting ready to board a plane. And on this plane, you have a hundred seats, one, two, three, four, all the way down to 100. 25 rows, four seats in every row. 100 seats. And every person has a boarding pass, and their boarding pass tells them what seat they belong in. Maybe mine says 17, so I sit in seat 17. So each person has an assigned seat on this plane. Problem is, the first person here has lost their ticket. They don't know what their assigned seat is. So what do they do? They board the plane and they choose a seat at random. So maybe this person boards the plane and chooses this seat right here. That is seat number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That is seat number 12. That's not their seat, but they chose that seat. The second person has a boarding pass. Maybe it says seat 18. So they go and sit in their seat because nobody's there. So this continues. Everyone sits in their assigned seat unless there's somebody already sitting in it. If somebody is already sitting in it, then they choose another seat at random. So let's suppose we put the first person in the 12th seat. And eventually, one of these people has seat 12. They will show up and be like, oh, there's somebody in my seat. So that person will then go somewhere randomly to a seat that is not taken and sit down, thereby you know, messing up someone else further down the line who wants to sit in that seat. So this process goes on. And the question is, what is the likelihood that the last person gets to sit in their assigned seat? So when they read their ticket and they board the plane, 99 people are already on. What is the likelihood that their seat is empty and they can actually go sit in it? So as you analyze this problem, you start to just think about it intuitively. You know, there are 100 seats. The last person, it kind of seems unlikely that they're going to get their seat. You might guess the probability is pretty low. And that's one of the interesting things about this problem. I think if you do it, you'll be surprised by the result. So your challenge is, under this scenario where the first person picks a seat at random and then everyone else tries to sit in their seat unless they can't, what are the chances that the last person gets their assigned seat? As always, play around with this, try some different things, maybe try a simpler problem, try to make as much sense of it as you can, look for some patterns and structure, and just have fun playing with math.